Okay, hello guys, uh, let's just dive right into it. So, as you can see, I want you guys to start with some kind of feature list, something very basic that just saying what your web app is supposed to do, okay? We're not talking about Lovable yet, we're not talking about anything, just what it's supposed to do. You can obviously use some kind of AI like uh, ChatGPT or Claude to make this feature list. I really advise you to take the formats I'm going to show you in those documents and use them as your baseline. Now, to whoever of you that doesn't know Notion, don't worry, we will talk about it. But for now, I just want us to focus on the feature list. So what we're going to make in this course is a web app called Clip Caption, okay? Basically, I will describe the problem that I'm trying to solve. Uh, so as a content creator, you make a YouTube videos or Instagram videos or whatever. And you know, you need to make descriptions for it and titles and hashtags and stuff like that. And it's really annoying, okay? It's really annoying process. You usually, what people usually do now, they just write the, what the video talking about in ChatGPT and then they try to polish it and stuff like that. And I think instead of a process that take like five, 10 minutes, we can make it to like 30 seconds. So what it's actually doing? The user just upload his video, just throw his video in. It doesn't need to convert it to audio or anything. Automatically, we have a thumbnail generation. Uh, it's just for like the system uses. It's not for the, the user. Then, behind the scenes, a whisper model, okay, like a speech to text model, convert uh, the video audio to text with whisper API. So, basically, we take the video, we convert the video to audio, and then we convert this audio to text with uh, AI, okay? Then, based on that transcriptions we have, we're going to convert the text that uh, the user is saying in the video to a metadata, metadata, okay? We are going to use GPT-4 in this case uh, to generate titles, descriptions, and hashtags. Uh, on top of that, we are going also to generate a subtitles file, meaning the user could take his video transcriptions and just put it in his video editing software, and he also will have uh, automatic subtitles to keep working on, so he doesn't need to use like expensive uh, plugins and all, because they all basically do the same. They're all working on the same models. Uh, there are going to be a uh, few roles. Uh, the, the user roles part is really, really important, okay? Every web app has some kind of user roles. Usually we have admin, and we have the users, which could be free, could be premium, you could have subcategories for premium. Uh, and so on, you could have also guest. There is no, it's endless, okay? So you really need to define it because that's like the most tricky part, especially in Lovable. Um, so we are going to have three, uh, which going to have only three generations. Premium going to have 150 generations and admin uh, the, he going to have the same stuff like premium but unlimited. Uh, and he going to have control on who, who of the users are free and which users are premium, okay? He could control it in a very convenient way, not like with coding and stuff. Um, the, the payment going to be through Stripe integration. And we're going to do only one plan, because I want to keep it simple, of $10. But you're going to learn the principles and how to actually integrate live Stripe into it. And the history tab, basically, you could see your previous uploads and your previous metadata. Responsive monochrome UI. I wanted to, it to be the most minimalistic design because I know it's like a task people just want to finish with. And I also want to keep it simple, okay? I don't want to mess with it too much, especially with the design. For the backend, we're going to use Superbase because it's working best with Lovable uh, for authentication and data storage. We are not going to save any of the audio files or the video files. We're only going to save text files and the image thumbnails for preview them in our platform. Okay guys, so that was like about what we are going to build. Let's move on to the next video.